Well, hello friends, and welcome to another video. Our last unboxing for this week, as I think I've run out of things to unbox. Nope, there's something in the living room. Never mind, this will not be the last unboxing this week. However, this will be the last weird fun unboxing, because these are blind boxes I got. And they are a snack mascot cat, is what it translated into when I translated that. And, um, the cats appear to be wearing bags of sweets. And this little quote here says something to the effect of, Did you wear a bag of sweets? Silly cat did. So you appear to be able to collect six different cats that are all wearing a different outfit. That is a snack food. Why does that exist? I don't know. Once a year I go through and I see what weird new gachapons or blind boxes exist that are bizarrely inexpensive, and I see how horrible they are when they arrive. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're terribly painted nightmare fuel. You never know. This is one of those situations, because these are only like $2 each. It's entirely possible these will be absolute nightmare fuel. I'll let you see first. It doesn't look too bad. He's still in a bag. Okay, these are not terrible. They're a little bit, a little bit clunky, but they're, you know, $2 again. Okay, so this one is a popcorn cat. He is pretty darn cute. I am not mad at the cat at all. And he is just wearing the bag. He is not a snack. He is wearing a snack bag. So he's unsafe, but he does have his head free. So for the time being, not a suffocation risk. All right, so we have a popcorn cat. Weird. Um, again, I don't know why these exist. They were called a snack mascot. Do... Does this cat, is it a mascot for other people? Is it just a mascot for snacks? Is it, is it just random? All right, well, we've gotten another pop cat, new. And because these are not taped shut, it's not that hard to tell who's in which one. So look, brand new again. All right, that is not a great start. And next one, please don't be a pop cat. Oh, thank goodness, it is not a pop cat. Oh, we got the donut calico. Very cute. These are really adorable and very inexpensive. If you just needed a small cat dopamine or had like a very specific snack liking friend who also had a cat. If that is a crossover universe for you, these cats are great. It's a specific crossover universe, but if you are a person who exists in that universe, this may be very important to you. So donut cat, um, both of those pretty good. I think the packaging is bizarrely good up here, and then this could, like, use some work. Because the popcorns are a little bit concerningly discolored. We would value from, um, a, a different, oh god, a different paint job. Alright, and our last kitty, since we got a duplicate, is Donut Cat. Why? Alright, well, two, two and two. And look, brand new again. Almost like they could have checked before they sent me double dupes. Anyway, let's take a closer look at them. They do actually have some little foot details that are very cute. They are, in fact, brand named with Qualia, so that is an actual brand, which does shock me. And, you know, they're nicely painted. They're really not bad at all. They're just bizarre, and why do they exist other than consumption? There's not a whole lot of other reasons, I don't think. I enjoy that they are not anatomical, as almost every other cat from Japan we have ever experienced has had balls on it. Well, anyway, these are pretty cute, and I'm glad we opened them together, and now I have two brand new ones to pass on to a cat-loving friend. So... I hope you enjoyed this chaotic little unboxing, and I hope you'll tune in for another one or one of my other many chaotic crafts that I get up to. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!